We have here a ZFI Taiwanese built gas powered trawler, 30 foot. The owner had recently passed away and the family is looking to liquidate her. She is for sale now for $7,500. The slip is available for sublet for up to a year. Um, she's in really good shape for 1981. See, it's got a great layout. The owner himself was living aboard the boat. Solid swim step here. Um, also, uh, it comes with some neat features like a stern thruster. So we can kind of talk about that. Moving up here, we'll start up at the bridge. See, it's got nice layout here with the cushions. The front of the captain's chair, seat for two. Minimal on electronics here. It does have uh, bow thrusters. I am unsure how much the engine pushes it now. It's a 175 horse um, Mare Cruiser. We can kind of talk about that a little bit. Coming back down. Getting in the sliding area here. You can see this is the open concept here. Looks a lot like uh, Bayliner 32, how they sort of set things up. This is very interesting, and I guess here's where the two feet go. Um, it doesn't quite have the same V-berth area, so this looks like it could be a little sleeping area down there. They use it for storage and closet area and whatnot. Um, doesn't have the bed that's completely underneath. Part of that reason is because the engine itself is down here and again we'll look at that in a moment but this here you can see this is the tay area along with the captain's seat here again it's got some oldies but goodies this one works this one was on there it goes that one works fine it's got a stereo system too though i haven't figured out how to turn that one on radio and all the things you need, nothing you don't. This one's nice, it's got a flow star here. And that will tell you about uh, your fuel rate and things of that nature. And then of course this is part of the um, stern thruster. Help get the ass end back in. Looking down here, we got a kitchen area, the galley, kind of all the things. Doesn't have its own stove, but, but uh, has a camper stove that's here. This right here gives some access to the inside. And again, we'll kind of talk about the engine in a little bit. Look in here, you've got the bathroom head, marine head. Comes with a shower. Comes with a um, porta potty in the area. This boat does not come equipped with a, um, a holding tank. So it's just got the porta potty. Got the trace here. And then looks like a newer refrigerator. I'm not too sure if this is ACDC or just DC, but there is a newer um, charger and inverter down below, so it might also be helpful. And then you've got the V-Birth cabin in this area here, along with the skylight. So that's a bit of the boat itself here. Let me get you down into the engine compartment. <clears throat> So this is the Maricruiser 740. Um, looks to be a raw water cooled engine. I tried to start it, but actually it seems like the, the battery itself might be dead. So it's gonna need to get a, a better battery there. Also the fuel um, is not really trusted right now. So they have it hooked up to a jerry can here. Um, here's the carburetor, but I understand the carburetor's been rebuilt. I'm going to have to get some verification on that. You can see it's got the uh, elbow exhaust system in the back. It looks relatively new. There's a lot of stuff on this engine, honestly, that looks pretty new. This pump right here looks new as well. Um, so I wouldn't exactly poo-poo this engine to uh, not get the job done. Actually, I'm looking down here where it says sea salt. That looks to be... A um, heat exchanger 
So I'm gonna take back what I said about it being salt water. Cool, looks to be fresh water, cool. I know that's a uh, happy news for a lot of people out there. Um, here's the battery banks they have. And then this is the newer charger inverter that they have as well. Also, I see back there a um, hot water tank. Also looks pretty new, pretty clean. Um, so there's a lot about the engine room that I really like. Uh, motor mounts look good. Honestly, um, I, looking at this engine, I have a lot of faith in it. That's for sure. Here's kind of the uh, other side and that access there. And of course, this should be on. Ooh. It looks like that needs to be tightened down. So, a um, couple of things here, and uh, we're going to have a mechanics report, actually, come out next week. But, um, again, for $7,500, it's typically something that would sell for around $18,000. Um, if you're interested, let me know.